Welcome to Music Room 2. Now this was once Music Room 1, and, and I say that because in our original video series of building a music room, we, uh, we only had the one. Later on we had a little one, and we called it Music Room 2. <laughs> and it housed the IRS 5, the Infinity massive IRS 5. Well, this will be the new home for the IRS 5 and the new home for Music Room 1. Confusingly, we're calling it Music Room 2 because, well, we're just simple folk. <laughs> As simple folk uh, next to you, and I'll, 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 I'll do a video on that as well, is actually the new Music Room 1, then 2, and then 3. So we're upstairs in the new building at PS Audio loving our new digs and this is the construction phase of the center of the middle of the new music room so it'll officially become music room two which will again house the fabulous infinity irs fives 1.2 tons of loudspeaker currently in my opinion the best loudspeaker in the world yes the $650,000 Wilsons out, out do it in some aspects and, and yet they don't in others and you know. So I mean we're up there in the stratosphere no matter what we're talking about. And this will be the new home for the IRS. So it is, its dimensions are 16 feet in width and 24 feet in length. So Music Room 1, the original Music Room 1 was a foot less wide and just about the same. I think it was 23 and a half or something if I remember right. But so this is just a little bit wider than the original Music Room 1. Uh, the ceilings are going to be nine and a half feet tall. You can see the, the header up there and if you look, see this, this, uh, these steel girders, well they're not really girders, they're, they're, they're not that, they're, um, it's a type of building material that uh, is going to be used as joists going across for the ceiling. And I'm going to give you an overview today of how we're going to build this and then as we keep building it, I'll keep photographing as we did last time so you can see what we're attempting to do. This wall is a dividing wall between Music Room 1 and Music Room 2. And what's unusual about this wall that you cannot see right now is that it's at an angle. This wall is skewed this way by six inches. So the back of this wall will be six inches closer than this point right here. We're doing that so that we have less of a parallel wall for standing ways. What you're also not seeing at this phase of construction is that we're going to do our are 45 degree corners. In, in you, uh, if you look at the older video of how we built Music Room 1, we built these 45 degree angled corners because we don't like the point where they come together sharp because there you can have a buildup of sound that's unwanted. So you want to, I mean, the perfect thing in here, and, and I, I doubt we'll be able to get it because it's so hard and so expensive, would be kind of a rounded wall. Oh awesome but you know some, you gotta everybody has to live within a budget and we've already dumped three quarters of a million dollars into this building and we're <laughs> that's a lot of money and uh, I you know I was given a budget for the sound rooms we're I mean you know we're not ultra wealthy we do okay as a company we do real well as a company better than most companies in our industry but we're we're not, you know, mega wealthy. And so you have to live within your means. I've already exceeded my budget for these three rooms by twice. And I'm getting grief from our board of directors. It's like, McGowan, stop. Because you, you could go bananas. You really could. Anyway, so you'll have the 45 degree angles, then the straight across roof. Now, and I'll show you when this goes in. One of the tricks that we're doing in this room that's really easy to do in any room, and, and if, if you don't know this trick, you, 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 you need to learn it because it's 
It's easy. <laughs> if you're any good with a saw, you can do it. And that is to use crown molding. And it's actually a 45 degree at the point where the wall meets the ceiling. And then it's that same 45 degree angle that we're going to put in over here along the wall. But it's, and it looks cool. When you walk in, you wouldn't know, but it gets rid of the, <laughs> the slap echo. Right now there's a, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's going to get rid of that. So crown molding all the way around and then corners and two walls actually. So on one board there's actually two walls. So Music Room 2's walls are here and here and, and you can probably see that there's another stud but it's pointing out here and it's pushed away by the 2x4 and that's for the other wall in Music Room 1. So these are completely isolated walls and then we're going to double sheetrock here so we'll have 5 eighths inch sheetrock doubled uh, so whatever 10, 10 eighths so that would be an inch and a quarter basically of sheetrock to try and keep the sound down and then in here all kinds of, of um, insulating material. We're at the point right now and this is a commercial building so we have to have sprinklers but we're at the point right now where they're finishing up the wiring. So the first thing the, the electricians did is they came in here and they put in what we would call our courtesy lighting. Okay? Oh, and for those of you wondering, this, this thing here, we're doing air conditioning system called splits. So there's a compressor on the roof and then you've probably seen it, one of those white boxes that, that uh, has a little door that opens up and they're very, very quiet, very quiet. And so those splits are going to cool and heat the room quietly and we'll have individual control for each one. So that's, this is from the compressor. And the courtesy wiring that has gone in, this, these side things here, these are for sconces and we're going to use, in this room, we'll use theater lighting. So you know what a sconce is. Hey, I'm no interior designer. <laughs> I'm learning right along with you. So a sconce is a wall-mounted light, and what we're going to have is all be LED. And that way we'll be able to effectively lower the lights in here to make a really cool mood within the room. The, so there's, there's a row of lighting going around here. Uh, you can't, we haven't put the joists in, I'll show you, but then we're going to do two rows of can lighting, and each can will be tiltable uh, by 30 degrees so we can point it where we want and then here will be a gimbaled lighting that'll point down on some yet to be determined artwork back here. So when you're listening to the image and the image will all be back here, the sound stage will be back here, speakers out here, sound stage back here, you want the eye to have a center piece to focus on. It actually helps the illusion uh, that stereo systems make of a sound stage. So having a nice piece of art at the exact proper level is one of the secrets to building a really cool high-end audio system because the illusion, and, and let's face it, we are trying our best to create an illusion of musicians and a symphony orchestra in this room. And we do that with great electronics, with a great set of speakers, a room conditioned properly and then a few tricks, like the speaker, uh, the uh, uh, picture right here in the back. So the gimbaled lighting is going to come down and shine on that. And we'll be able to adjust that just perfect. And then you've got your speakers about a third of the way out in the room. Woofer tower is back here. And then seating will be back here, just like we had in the old IRS room. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, oh, electrical. Courtesy plugs going all along the sides. When I say courtesy, they're just there because it's cheap now to put them in, right? And they're all on one circuit like that. So what's coming Monday or Tuesday, today's Sunday, we're photographing, uh, is the, uh, are the dedicated lines. So there's a huge pipe up here that's running 10 gauge. So six circuits of 10 gauge wiring, but, and that'll go in here. But you know what? I, we have to do uh, music room one. Uh, when we're, when we're uh, doing this thing. So I'm going to tell you about the dedicated lighting, our, our uh, circuits, 
when we do our thing on Music Room 1, which I'm probably just going to walk right over and photograph next. All right. We'll keep you up to date on how this is going, and you should see some, some new videos quite soon. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye.